So the third installment in the Throne of Glass series will hopefully be out in fall 2014. Um, and it picks up right after the events of Crown of Midnight. And unlike the first two books, which were set in Rifthold, the capital, uh, book three is now in three different places in the world. The first narrative uh, in, the, in the book is Selena's, uh, where she is in Wendland, the country across the sea, where the king has sent her to assassinate the royal family. But being Selena, uh, she obviously is not really into this job that she's been given. Um, and Selena instead encounters the Fae, who until this point have not been present in the series. And she is uh, basically tasked with this, I guess, command. I don't even know how to, I've not, I haven't pitched this <laughs> book yet. You can include this in the video as I try to figure out what the hell to say. Um, Selena meets Queen Maeve of the Fae, uh, the ruler of all the, the fairies in, in Wendland. Um, and Queen Maeve gives her uh, her own command of what to do. Um, so Selena is having her own adventures in the kingdom across the sea, while the other narrative in the book is Dorian and Kaol, still in the Empire, uh, both of them with their own journeys. Uh, Dorian has magic now, and magic is outlawed uh, in the kingdom, and he's not supposed to have it. No one else has it. Magic has vanished, but Dorian is now trying to figure out uh, one, how he got magic, and two, how to survive, because he is living in his father's house, and if his father finds out that he has magic, he will be executed. And Kaol has found out who Selena really is, um, and has sworn to keep it a secret, um, but he soon realizes that keeping that secret might lead to some really dangerous situations, um, and he is struggling between the loyalty that he is basically being paid for, loyalty to the Empire, and then the loyalty to his friends and whether he is loyal to Selena and Dorian, and if he has to even pick between the two of them. And then the third narrative in the, in the book is Manon Blackbeak, who is the heir of the Blackbeak Witch Coven, and she is one of my new favorite characters. Um, at the very end of Crown of Midnight, the king mentions that he's been breeding these wyverns, these dragons, in secret in the mountains, and that he needs riders for those dragons. And the witches, before magic vanished, used to ride around on broomsticks and fly. Uh, but now that there is no magic, as soon as these uh, wyverns are there, um, they do not turn down the king's offer when he says that he would like them to be his you know, aerial troops. Uh, so the Manon narr narrative follows her uh, as she meets her, her dragon, her wyvern, uh, and they train in secret deep in the mountains. And it's an introduction to the whole witch society. And so the, all three of those are going on at the same time throughout the third book. Um, and it's kind of more of an epic story. It's on a bigger scale than the, the first two. And I'm really excited for it to come out.